The weather won't let me get out fishing today, so I decided to go to the fishmonger. I went to uh, Farmer Joe's in Cape Coral. I'm gonna make a dish that I absolutely love to make, scallops. So this is a scallop dish that I made for my wife on her birthday. And when I put it in my recipe book, I actually called it birthday scallops. She loves this dish. I make this as a first course often. It's scallops with mushrooms on it. I'm gonna level it up and I'll show you how I do that. What you wanna do when you're buying it is get in there and smell it. You should smell zero fish. This should smell salty, smell like the sea. Also, tap it, it should bounce back a little bit. That's a fresh scallop. This is gonna be good. There's definitely some tricks to the simple dish. I'll point out those tricks as I go through cooking. But the first one is get them cleaned and then the key part, get them dry. I can't emphasize that enough. All right, once I've cleaned them up, I'm gonna let them rest in a dry paper towel. If they're not as dry as possible, they won't sear the way you want them to. They won't sear the way you want them to. I'm gonna let them sit just like that while I prepare the mushrooms. All right, my sommelier has just handed me a Pinot Blanc from Sheed. This is a winery in Monterey that we went to uh, on a vacation when I went over to Pebble Beach. Check it out, Sheed Pinot Blanc. It's got a green apple, citrus flavors. This wine also has a very sweet finish, which is gonna go great on these scallops. This will be a fun pairing to do. All right, this dish is super simple. One of the things that's really important to this dish is you gotta find shiitake mushrooms. Shiitake mushrooms are a mushroom that will pair really good against the scallops. The textures will be almost exactly the same. I'm gonna sear these medium, medium hard. I wanna get a little bit of darkness on them. And then I'm gonna put this in a bowl and lay that seared scallop right on top of it and finish it off there. All I'm gonna do is cut off kind of the root section. And I want these chopped up into big pieces. I want them to hold their, their structure. It always looks like you have too much. These are gonna reduce way down. Let's prep up our aromatics. Going with garlic. And yes, I've been using the jarred garlic. And then I'm gonna cut up some ginger. I'm in on a ginger run lately. I'm gonna go heavy ginger. I'll put in the recipe what it calls for. I'm probably gonna triple that here. I love ginger, it's so inexpensive and it creates such a great flavor. I'm prepping this up so once my mushrooms are right where I want them, I'm just gonna dump this in. I don't want to overcook it. Definitely don't want to burn either of these ingredients. I just want to wake them up. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of ginger. I'm going with it. All right, the seasoning for the scallops is really simple. Just salt and pepper. My mom was 100% Norwegian. Those are the only seasonings we had in the house. Okay, we're going to cook these mushrooms in just a little bit of butter in oil mix. Get that going. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get this pan going. This is where the scallops are going to go. Okay, let's drop the mushrooms. Salt and pepper. On a cold day like today, this is a great dish. I've had people tell me, hey, you can cook really good. And I've thought to myself, you know what? I think I shop better than I cook. you got to buy good ingredients. Or you can see my pan starting to smoke there. I want that. I'm not afraid of that heat. One thing you find with mushrooms is they'll be hard or a little bit woody and then all of a sudden, boom, they just break down. We'd have to ask Elton Brown exactly what the, the food structure is there, but they really give away at one point and that's right when I want to drop in my ginger and my garlic. See, I'm starting to get some brown bits here. That's exactly what I want. That's what I meant by a medium to hard sear. I'm going to back down in the heat because I know I'm going to get that ginger and garlic in there in just a little bit. I don't want this pan too hot. I do not want to burn that. I really like the brown that I'm seeing. I'm seeing caramelization there. That's good. Yep, and then this one, the big one just got soft. It's weird, they just give it up at one point. Okay, now it's gonna start smelling really good in here. Now keep in mind, I want extra on the ginger just because I'm feeling crazy with ginger right now. Oh, does that smell good. Mm, that's gonna go great with that wine. Okay, I, if I keep cooking, they're gonna shrivel up too much. Yeah, it's just the right amount too. Okay, let's get ready for the star of the show. We're gonna add a little bit of high heat oil, just a tiny little bit. You can see that pan is, that pan's moving and shaking. My scallops are as dry as I can get them and they're almost room temperature, not quite. 
drop these in there. That one's a little bigger. This one's a little thinner. Turn the fan on. Gorgeous. I'm watching it cook up from the side there. See how it's a little bit of white, brown, a little bit of white, and you can see it's raw. Don't be afraid to cook scallops. This is an easy dish to make. It'll really wow your friends. I'll put a timer from when I started the mushrooms to the time that I put the scallops on that dish. You'll see how quick it is. Now that, that scallop's obviously got a little better structure. I'll give that one to the princess. But well, see how I never touched it once I put it in there? You gotta let it rock. Don't be afraid of seeing that smoke. But that's the display side I was hoping for. The cook always eats the ugliest food, but it tastes just as good. All right, I think we're home free. A little off of the heat. All right, I'm gonna level up with a little bit of lemon zest. If you've watched me cook before, you know I love this trick. There we go, that's all we need. The second way I'm gonna level this up is with color. See how it's really bland looking? Mushrooms, scallops, I mean, we got a nice sear, sure. I like the look of the pepper on there, but if I add just a little bit of green on here, look at that. Little bit of parsley. There we go. That's the dish, that's our finished product. Well, let's see how we did. Ooh, that wine is good. Boy, that's got a sweet finish. I think this is a good unexpected first course to serve somebody. I just love this dish. Mm. I've got a lot of ginger in there and that's really good. The garlic's really coming out too. Perfect sear. I love how in this dish, they have mushrooms and scallops, they have the same texture really. And the flavor is so bright. And this is such a light dish, great dish to serve as a first course. Elegant and easy. That's what I'd call this one. Scallops on a bed of shiitake mushrooms, ginger and garlic. This kind of dish you could pair with just about anything. Have a big steak after this. This is a nice light first course. White wine, light first course. And then here, I guess, with some red meat and some cabernet. That's it, that's a cut. We're done. That's the bomb. Make this dish, trust me. Those scallops are about $2.50 a piece. You know, it's not a cheap ingredient by any means. Treat it right, but the key is get it as dry as possible and get it up to room temp. And then don't be afraid to whack it on that cast iron. You should, you should smoke the house out with this dish. Turn the fan on high, crank a window open, whatever you gotta do.